my name is Nick Brewer, and I'm the events manager for MakerBot. 123D Creature is an Autodesk uh, application that um, is really simple to use. There's basically a wireframe, and then you just kind of make your creature, and then you can color it, and it's all, uh, it's on the iPad, so just kind of use your finger and you draw what you want, and then you can save that, and you can then print that. Um, there are some things in it that, like, if you wanted to print your creature on our machine, you would need to know, like, uh, anything with an overhang over, like, 70 degrees is a little difficult for our machine to do. So if you make, like, a zombie, you need to know what that his arms aren't going to work quite like you want it to. But there are other ways to deal with that as well. Here we have MakerWare. This is the program that you actually load your file into, and that slices it into very, very thin layers that goes to the machine and tells it how to make your model. Let's see if I can get this guy. Pull the entire thing out. So all three of these guys take about an hour total for all three, so 33 minutes each. The layer height is uh, 0.27 or 270 microns. So if I made this one guy 100 microns, so it's two and a half times smaller, um, he could take two hours on his own. I'm Bree Pettis with MakerBot, and we're out to lead the next industrial revolution and change the world. Some people say that, you know, oh, it's just doodads. But I say to anybody who says that, you've got it wrong. We've got folks who are, you know, we've got a team that's two guys who are working around the world using their MakerBot Replicator 2s as like 3D fax machines. And they're working on the RoboHand project. They're making hands for kids who don't have, who literally don't, were born without hands. And you tell me that's a doodad and I will hit you in the face. The people who have MakerBots are using them to make wonderful things. And sometimes those things are playful and oftentimes those things are revolutionary. And it's individuals who, like, like the RoboHand project, that are, gonna act, that are blazing a trail into the future to make the world a better place. The RoboHand project is super cool. It's two guys, one in Seattle, one in South Africa, and they're working together to make a, the Ro RoboHands, which they basically have created a design that anybody can download and make it on their own and create a, a hand. It allows kids who haven't been able to catch a ball to catch a ball, to you know, go to school and have two hands instead of one. It used to be 3D printing was just for you know, the industry. Now, it's an, you know, a MakerBot is an education in industry in a box. You get it, you learn prototyping, you learn development, you learn iteration, and then if you come up with a product, you can even start making it and do uh, and you can start and start and get out there in the world and see if people want it. It's great for entrepreneurs. It literally breeds entrepreneurs. When you get a MakerBot, you just like it's like an injection of entrepreneur juice into your body. You start thinking differently. You start thinking about how the world works, and then you blaze a trail into the future and change the world. <laughs>